Hi everybody, my name is Nick. I'm Emma. And welcome to our new YouTube channel, which we are calling Cube Geeks. Um, we are going to do all sorts of stuff here, all nerd and pop culture related. Um, our first video today is going to be an unboxing video. Um, unboxing as in we've got a blind box, or a couple of blind boxes rather, that we're going to open up and uh, see what's inside. So, these are the boxes that we got. Um, big question mark boxes, you've probably seen them before if uh, you've gone to conventions a lot. Um, these are made by Toy NK, I believe. You can get them at pretty much any convention. We got ours on Amazon, however, um, because we'll not be going to a convention until probably tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to Boston Con. Um, while we're opening this up, we're going to kind of go over what we see, uh, what we think of it, and if we think that um, what they put in this box is equivalent to what people would actually want to get. In total, the boxes were about $30 plus shipping and handling. So for both boxes, it was accumulated, I believe it was $66. Apparently, there's more value in these boxes than what you actually pay. Um, I guess that remains to be seen. Maybe it's technically more valuable, but I guess we won't really know yeah. until we open them up and see. Yeah, there's no theme or anything. It's just a random assortment of, I guess, geek stuff. It's paraphernalia and such. Alright, so I haven't looked in the box yet. We just opened it up, tried to decide how we're going to do it because we're uh, lazy and didn't plan ahead. Yeah, so Nick's going to open up his box first and then I'll open mine. Alright, so let's start. Um, a couple things in here. I already feel a plushie. I'm guessing, like, domo Kun is my guess. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there he is. So this is the dolly. Um, Domo comes from, it's a series of Japanese commercials, correct me if I'm wrong, but they used him as a mascot, and he got so popular that uh, he branched out to America. Uh, he has a mustache, kind of like me. It's um, technically a limited edition one. Ah, uh, yes. Appears to be as well. Yeah. Uh, so the mustache is cool, kind of generic in regards to what the mustache looks like. Kind of reminds me of like that mustache fad thing where like everything has yeah. a mustache, like phone cases has a mustache. It reminds me of Sodomo got really popular, I want to say like 2007 or 8. I just remember Target did this whole thing where for Halloween it was like Domo Halloween at Target. I remember that. Yeah, I still have like a pumpkin with Domo's face on it and stuff. I see what else is in there. Uh, we got this thing, which is... A was that Downton Abbey? <laughs> uh, got a Downton Abbey iPhone case, 5S of course, obviously. That so you know about three generations of phone behind, possibly four. So that's cool. I um, thought this was pronounced Downtown Abbey for the last three years. Is it kicking it downtown, boy? My bad. Yeah. So uh, this is stupid. Um, but I guess there might be somebody out there who likes this. The I thing just... is, this is like a pretty lazy case, too. It just looks like it's like the outline Yeah, of... it could, could be anything, Yeah, actually. Yeah, it looks like shit. Um, all right, next thing. Some sort of blind box. Uh, heroes and villains. Some sort of uh, little figure. I was going to say it's Batman theme, but they also have uh, Superman and the Flash. Joker, Harley Quinn. Yeah. And Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze is the limited edition one here. Uh, you can tell that it says Chase Me in the bottom corner. That must mean he's rare. The design on the outside of the box looks kind of like ugly a little bit, but maybe the figure looks different. That was, that was a pretty heavy box. Yeah. Uh and we got Superman. Uh there he is. He's pretty um, cute. Yeah, he's alright. Uh he's got you probably I don't know if you can see this, I'll show you later, but he's got like four nub legs. Yeah, he has like Lego feet. And like what looks like one singular like I don't know, like like a butthole <laughs> almost in the middle. It's like his flat like crotch area, I guess is like an indent. Yeah, it's weird. That's a really weird way to make the legs, but it, I guess it makes sense. I mean, he, he stands up well enough. Yeah. Pretty decent quality. I mean, I guess it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Um, I have a friend who would probably really like this, so I might actually pass that off to him. Uh, here we have... Um... <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, 
like a mask, I guess, like a red mask. It sort of reminds me of like a Raphael mask or like a like a phantom of the opera style. I was gonna play. say maybe it's tuxedo mask, but I'm pretty sure his mask is black. Would you recognize me if I robbed you in an alleyway? Um. <laughs> it looks bad. Bad? <laughs> like really bad? It's like, I don't know. I actually have one myself. Oh yeah, we got one in the back here. Uh, we could probably go to like a masquerade. Fit in pretty well. Yeah. Pretty neat. Um, again, don't really know what that's supposed to represent. All right, I've got kind of a big thing in here. Um, okay. This is interesting. It's kind of like a like an ammo box, I guess. And it looks. It's nothing inside. Is there a wrapper or anything? What's it say on the bottom? Um, classified novelties. So it's just sort of like a novelty box. Is it a fallout thing? I don't know. Danger, high voltage, 1 kV electric shock hazard, remove power before repair or adjustment. Do not adjust. Okay, that so it's kind of just like a, like a lunchbox. I, again, I don't really get what it's supposed to be. It kind of just like, looks like generic, post-apocalyptic, like, yeah. punk stuff, I guess. Yeah, like I guess. Like almost like an amp. Or like I a, thought it was fallout just because of the top. Um, not too much else in here. Uh, speaking of Fallout, oh, hey. Fallout air freshener, Not the guy. always nice. My car smells like a uh, big old sweaty butthole, so this might be nice. We have Fallout that. Boy. Fallout Boy? <laughs> Vault Boy. Fallout Boy. Um, uh, like the little pamphlet thingy with a 10% off coupon for toynk.com, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't really, and that was pretty much it. It was all those in that box. I mean... This was cool. I like this. Um, the box is decent. The Superman thing is okay. This case, <laughs> this case bothers me like on a deep fundamental level. Um, it just got this kind of seems like something they were probably just trying to get rid of. Like yeah. it was on like the clearance rack. Because again, like, I just a don't even know where you, year old phone. Where you buy a Downton Abbey phone case? It'd be like buying a phone case from like. <laughs> Um, the mask, again, don't really get it, but I guess you could find use for it. Um, and of course, the air freshener. Um, I feel like there was something else, I definitely threw something across the room, but it might have just been packaging, I don't really remember. Yeah, it was that box. Oh, oh yeah, the box for that. My box. This is important, remember I got this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, first thing I got was a Doctor Who phone case for the iPhone 4, so we're going down in generations. iPhone 4, um, that was a long time ago. I don't have an iPhone 4, um, I'm not a huge Doctor Who fan, like I, I just never really liked the show, so I don't. <laughs> I'm a fan, I like Doctor Who, but. Again, I don't have an iPhone 4 or 4S, so this, again, has um, sort of proven relatively useless to us, but I guess cool for someone who may have had an iPhone 4 and also happens to be a Doctor Who fan. <laughs> I got an Anchorman figure. This is 8-inch Battle Ready Brian. The back of the box says, Battle Ready Brian, come get a taste. Also available, 13-inch talking figure, referring to the Ron Burgundy figure himself. So here, he comes with a metal pipe, as seen from the fight scene, in which Steve Carell throws a trident through a guy's chest. This is awesome! Um. You know, now that I look closer at it, there's this plastic tape that's keeping it taped closed. And I don't know if that was part of the packaging, or if... <laughs> This meant that they bought this at like a thrift store and taped it back up. <laughs> the guy just finds it like, yeah, this will do. <laughs> Put it in the box. Yeah. Tape it back together. It's fine. It looks like it might have been opened and used before. <laughs> it thoroughly used. Yeah. Um, he's got loafers. That's nice. I think somebody robbed a guy and just put his stuff in a box and shipped it to me. That, that's probably what happened. 
Oh, well, I am a girl. <laughs> this is Doctor Who? Yeah, it's a oh, river song's catchphrase. Either. Hello, sweetie. Oh, I didn't know there was a river in Doctor Who. I mean, like I said, I'm not a Doctor Who fan, but this is a cool bag. You know, I'd probably carry makeup in it. Because I'm a girl. Yeah, you girls with your makeup in your bags that you keep your makeup in. It kind of reminds me of like the reusable bags that they yeah. try to. Yeah, it's kind of low quality. Oh. There's a there's a treat. Hey! Oh, I have another one of these uh, blind boxes. Like, does this look like that's like hot glue in the corner? Uh, yeah, a little bit. That actually. Uh, I don't know if we can like put this up close, but uh, hopefully it'll focus. But if you look really close in the corner there, um, the corner was like hot glued down. I'm beginning to think all of the shit I got was like opened up by someone <laughs> else. Yeah, it's like the open box clearance section. What but the hell? Yeah, I got like weird pieces of like garbage in it. Uh, let's see what she got. That might just be part of the packaging. I'm not here to claim that Toy NK is robbing <laughs> children. <laughs> oh, hey! You know, I was gonna say, I hope I get Harley Quinn, but, uh, I think not saying it is what actually was able to help me get her. I like her, I, I like this design, I like <laughs> the very large chin. Um, I also have a Harley Quinn Funko Pop figure, so I'm probably gonna put the two next to each other, because they kind of remind me of Funko Pops, um, and like, how they have like the super deformed style. So, definitely cool. Does she have the weird four leg thing too? Yeah. Mm, bizarre. She has a little cube on the bottom, too. Alright. I got another Doctor Who bracelet. Um, you know, like I said, I'll be, I have to keep saying I'm not really a Doctor Who fan, but I do like bracelets, so I probably will wear this, actually. If you're wondering what it says on it, it says warp, V-W-O-R-P, exclamation point, mm -hmm. which I am assuming is supposed to be the noise that the TARDIS makes when it takes off. Oh, and then I have a little toad air freshener and strawberry scent, which is my favorite scent of all scents. Um, I actually do really like this. I really like Mario. So I'm actually super happy with this. This might be one of my favorite things in the box. Picture that, an air freshener being your favorite thing in the mystery box. And finally, I have another Toy and K coupon. And that's that it. That box. So this is all we got. Um, in the box, again, Domicon plushie was pretty cool, um, this box was okay, the figures are pretty neat, um, even though I'm not a huge fan of the design personally. A couple phone cases, totally useless, um, Anchorman figure, really cool, um, you know, like that one, yeah. Yeah, freshness and such, in the bag, obviously. Um, I mean, it's not bad, I guess, but... Nothing in these stood out to me as, like, yeah. neat or really particularly cool, aside from maybe the figure. Yeah. Specifically these boxes, it kind of seems like somebody goes to the clearance section of Target and just kind of, like, throws a ton of stuff into a box, which is why you have so much Doctor Who merchandise or you have little figures like this, just because they're really easy to pick up. Yeah, it sort of feels like an out-of-touch grandma's, like, Christmas gift box. Yeah. So let's talk about what we did like and what we didn't like. I liked the fact that they sort of had one big thing, one medium thing, and then a couple smaller things. Um, it feels like you get an even spread of um, of like quality levels in every box, which is pretty cool. What about you? Um, I like the fact that I had items that were usable. I know that with the iPhone cases they were going for something that you could use, which I do appreciate at least they were trying. I like the fact I got a bag and a bracelet because they're things I could just use on a regular basis. If you're a fan of Doctor Who, do you really want, like, say, an iPhone 4 case? Like, maybe if you have an iPhone 4, it's cool, but for most people, they probably don't anymore, yeah. so this sort of is for no one. Again, like, we, we've gone through this before with a couple different mystery boxes. Um, we went to an awesome con in Washington, D.C. not too long ago. Um, we picked up some boxes there, and the one that I got was a Power Rangers themed box, and I love Power Rangers, as you can see by the stuff in the back. Um, but I open it up, and there's like a broken mug, and like a koozie, and a bunch of coasters, and shot glasses, and it's basically all glassware. And like, as someone 
who likes Power Rangers, like, glassware is probably not what I would, like, go out and buy or even really want. I mean, the shot glasses were kind of cool. We have them lined up in the yeah, back Yeah, they there, do but... look nice, that's for sure. I mean, you really do, you get what you pay for, and, um, in total, our boxes were about $66, and we got about $66 worth of merchandise. It's just, again, since they are blind boxes, it's really kind of left up the chance what we're going to get. Uh, I mean, not bad for a first time, I guess. We'll see. Yeah. What other things. It definitely doesn't deter me from wanting to get more blind boxes. Um, so that pretty much wraps up the unboxing, um, and pretty much us talking about it. Uh, in the future, there'll be probably some more unboxings. Um, we're going to kind of try to do a lot with this channel. Um, mostly, again, centered around, like, nerd, geek, and pop culture in general. Um, again, you'll see more unboxings. We're going to do some con coverage. You may have already seen our Boston Con video 2017. Don't know if that's going to be up before this video or after. Most likely before, um, just because we're going again tomorrow morning. Uh, so we'll get some footage from that to show you guys. Otherwise, you can expect all sorts of stuff, playthroughs, board games, uh, talks, you know, whatever. Um, I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, kind of winging it, I guess. Deuces. Deuces. We'll see you when we see you.